September 13, 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down did him homage and said, Be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had put him in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. The Gospel of the Lord How often must I forgive? As children of Adam and Eve, all humans are prone to sin, the price of being earthly and imperfect. Sin already manifested itself in their first offspring. Cain killed his brother Abel out of jealousy. In the next generations, Cain's violence increased, with Lamech boasting boundless vengeance. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech seventy-seven times. After the great flood during the time of Noah, sin was not washed away. Even if the desires of the human heart are evil from youth, God will never again strike down every living being as God has done. God promises to protect creation, especially human beings, for in the image of God have human beings been made. And God left a sign in the heavens, the rainbow, to mark his covenant with Noah. The same covenant promise was given to the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses, and the prophets, to the kings and to the whole nation of Israel. Lastly, a new covenant will be made between humanity and God that will be sealed in the body of Jesus Christ who will pay for the atonement of sins once and for all. The Gospel parable illustrates the mercy of God incarnated in Jesus. The servant makes an empty promise to pay the whole debt, but the master shows magnanimous generosity condoning the entire debt at the servant's plea for mercy. God expects that the mercy given should be extended to the fellow servants who owes him a very small amount. In a sense, the forgiven servant has to pay it forward. At least the amount of mercy given should also be extended to another, just as the amount of love given should also be reciprocated. The parable explains that God's forgiveness is infinite. When Jesus admonishes Peter to forgive 77 times, 
in contrast with Lamech's limitless vengeance. The responsorial psalm aptly captures human thanksgiving. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger, and rich in compassion. God forgives. God heals. God redeems. God is all holy. His forgiveness is His blessing. For as the heavens tower over the earth, so His mercy towers over for those who fear Him. Truly there is truth in the adage, To err is human, to forgive is divine.